So I wanted to make a quick video here, quick unscripted video here, just to talk about what happened last night and some possibly positive news for people who didn't get a chance to pre-order their console, their PlayStation 5 yesterday. I want to talk about how we have to blame retailers and not Sony for what happened last night, but I'm not going to sit here and say Sony is not completely in the wrong at all so we're going to look at that and again there's some positive news for people who haven't pre-ordered their playstation 5 just yet or couldn't pre-order a playstation 5 just yet but let me know if you guys have been able to pre-order a playstation 5 last night with everything that happened i luckily got mine but i saw a lot of people who weren't able so let me know about that down in the comments now diving into the main course of this video the ps5 conference and what happened yesterday. So the timeline of what happened yesterday. The PlayStation 5 conference uh, happened. There was some good information in there. There was some good content in there. We saw some uh, new surprises like the Harry Potter RPG, which I'm getting day one. We saw gameplay for Spider-Man. We saw gameplay for Demon's Souls. We saw the surprisingly shocking release date for God of War. We had a feeling God of War 2 was going to be there. But 2021, I had a bit of disbelief that was going to be the case. But... The thing about this conference is that it was it was a bit messy. It was a bit messy because as I was streaming, talking to, to you guys yesterday, there was a bunch of you in the chat who were telling me that Spider-Man is a launch title confirmed. Demon's Souls is a launch title confirmed. Pre-order information is going live. Pre-orders are happening tomorrow. So this was yesterday. And I was like, what? What, what's going on so I had to like t while I was talking to you guys I had to take my Twitter out and basically look at what Jeff Keighley was saying because he let us know about the pre-orders before Sony did and the Demon Souls part of this we knew that thing was rated and it was going to be a launch title or launch window title but it would have been nice to have that in the conference same with Spider-Man we knew that was going to be a launch game but why wasn't this in the conference that's why I have a bit of a feeling that this conference was kind of cobbled together in the end. This was kind of always meant to go live earlier on because even some of the titles in there had holiday 2020. It feels like this was cobbled together and they added the last bit of it for the release date and uh, the, the prices of the console. So right after the conference, what happened? I had to get off my live stream because people were talking about pre-orders left and right. Jeff Keighley again told everybody about pre-orders going live the next day, then Sony confirmed it. Then Jeff Keighley said that pre-orders, some pre-orders will be going live that same day. So yesterday, and I told people in my stream and in my video yesterday that I heard this rumor the same day earlier before the live stream that pre-orders could be going live today or tomorrow. So today friday uh, i mean today thursday so in that i was like no way that's 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 not possible that's not possible this for this to happen that's not what eric lampel promised that's not what sony promised in that they would give us some time to be able to pre-order the console i was expecting at minimum a week to give people some time to digest and figure out their scheduling for when they can pre-order the console so what happened was retailers decide to say F everything and basically decided to let pre-orders just fly off yesterday and this was Walmart, Best Buy, Target, Amazon, all of these retailers decided to just fly off and let their pre-orders go live yesterday when Sony has told people that they were scheduled to go on Thursday, today. So this is the part where I put some blame on the retailers or really the big blame on retailers from what happened yesterday in that all these pre-orders just decided to go live. They just switch that on and people were fumbling people were just going ev i was fumbling as well i was like just seeing the news and then i was uh, going on my best buy app uh, walmart app amazon app anywhere i could to see if they had pre-orders going live there and i saw at best buy have the pre-orders go live i pre-ordered that minute and then i told my friends about it and this is where it hurts a bit because if i didn't tell my friends about it they wouldn't have had been able to secure a PlayStation 5 yesterday, they would have been in the unlucky space of people who just took what Sony said in terms of pre-orders going live on Thursday, and they would have waited for that. I saw a lot of people going in that realm as well. Now, in terms of uh, pre-orders going a day later after the event, that in itself was just horrible scheduling. That should have not been the original plan, and I don't think that was the original plan. I, I hope that wasn't the original plan because it's clear that they were trying to jump ahead before Xbox who have their pre-orders going live on Tuesday next week. So they had pre-orders going live 
a day after. That's not enough time for people to schedule around this, people to digest what they just saw at the event, people to basically think about do they what do they want? Do they want the digital? Do they want the physical? They saw some games. This didn't give enough time for people to digest the pricing and make their thought their, their thoughts like which one should I get? It was no time for people. And I kind of feel this might have been, and I'm just saying this is my own paranoid thought, I think this might have been in relation to some of the negative news that came out afterwards, which was games like Horizon Forbidden West, Sackboy, uh, Big Adventure, Spider-Man Miles Morales, all coming to the PlayStation 4 as well. So later this year, if people want to play Spider-Man Miles Morales, they don't have to get a PlayStation 5. They can just stick it out with the PlayStation 4. If next year people want to get Horizon Forbidden West, they don't have to get a PlayStation 5. They can just get a PlayStation 4. Now, this again falls in my personal realm of paranoia again. This isn't me confirming anything because it, it, it might not be the case, but this is what comes to my head when I think, hey, pre-orders are going live the next day, this negative news is out, people might think they don't need to get a PlayStation 5, so they just stick with PlayStation 4. That's the only reason why I made this connection, but at the same time, you can't play Demon's Souls, Godfall, Destruction All-Stars, so probably God of War 2 as well on the PlayStation 4. It seems like these are all PlayStation 5 only games, and it depends on which games you're, you're excited for if you're more excited for horizon forbidden west than demon souls and godfall then you don't need a playstation 4 until i guess maybe after next year but those again are my personal thoughts now looking at the possibly more positive news jim ryan confirms more ps5s are available in comparison to the playstation 4 so reading from the washington post sony boss jim ryan said sony will have more playstation 5 units ready for sale than they had playstation 4 units in 2013 about 2.1 million PlayStation 4 units sold worldwide two weeks after its launch, its 2013 launch, with a million in the first day alone. So, forget the second part of this, but the first part is that they have more units in comparison to the PlayStation 4, which I believe in the same time period leading to March 2014, they had about 7 million or something like that, some, some 7 point something, and reports have told us, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of trust these reports because they have been accurate with a lot of stuff, in that there's about 11 million PlayStation 5 consoles that they're, they're going to be producing up until December. So I think half of them are supposed to be, so about five to six million for the upcoming months leading to December, and the other half is going to be for January to March. So five to six million PlayStation 5s just for the next few months is not bad. And I've also heard people saying that uh, even though they didn't get a pre-order yesterday, they've kept trying and trying and trying, and they have been able to secure PlayStation 5s recently, like this morning. So, for the people who have not been able to pre-order PlayStation 5 just yet, my advice to you is to keep trying, because hopefully you can get in and lock in your PlayStation 5s. But if you still can't get it now, or maybe in the next few days, it's still there's still more to come there's still a millions of playstation 5 consoles still set to come but again yesterday was a pure example of how fast these things go so keep your eyes in check check your favorite retailers make sure you're checking that stuff every hour if i was you that's my personal strategy i'll be checking all the time just having the app checking checking but again that's personally just me for you guys it could be different how you want to play it but i would say do not give up just yet and that's really the video i had for you guys for this one uh the retailers i kind of put more blame on because they started that yesterday sony was planning on starting that today but again i don't take the blame off of sony because a one day schedule is not really that great and in my paranoid uh, thoughts i think it might be related to the cross gen stuff which again if the games look great on playstation 5 sure but i still have my worries could these games have been better if the PlayStation 4 wasn't a part of the mix. That's, again, my personal thoughts, but you guys let me know your thoughts about all of this cross-gen pre-orders, pre-orders going live yesterday, Sony saying there's more uh, PlayStation 5 still to come. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps, and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For this video's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with 
Don't be sorry, be better. The famous words from Kratos himself in terms of what happened with the retailers and Sony as well. This, they obviously, none of them apologized, but, you know, they could have done better on, in terms of how they handled this whole pre-order situation. And if you agree, whether you managed to lock your console or not, if you agree, destroy the comment section with don't be sorry, be better. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.